everybody and welcome to tgrayvideo.com and today's topic is you are what you eat. Do you remember that growing up that used to always tell us that trying to get us to eat the right foods? You are what you eat because if you ate good food you'd grow up and you'd be healthy and if you ate junk food you know you grow up and you wouldn't be healthy. Well you know what the same thing applies to what you eat in terms of what you fill yourself with or what you consume to grow yourself. Yes, I'm talking about personal development. You know, so many people get started in this great industry of ours called network marketing and they're so focused on the how to's, how to, how to, and doing the things and struggling with not getting results and failing to realize that who you are becoming, how you're growing as a person is just as important as learning the mechanics of succeeding in this business. Just remember this saying, your income growth will never ever exceed your personal growth. That's right, your income growth will never exceed your personal growth. And so you've got to make sure that you're growing as a person and as you grow, you'll become more and more attractive and people will be drawn to you and want to do business with you. So how can you grow personally? Well, you want to make sure that you're, you're reading and watching and listening to the right things. So for example, you know, if you're just getting started in our industry, you know, here's what you want to, you want to read your first year in network marketing. This is by Mark Yurnell. He's made millions in this industry. And you know what folks, I have found that the secret to wealth is usually only seven bucks, 10 bucks or $15 in between the covers of a book. And that's why the most important space in your house is the library, in the homes of every wealthy and successful person. You'll find a well-stocked library. As a matter of fact, let's talk about successful people. How about Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker? Learn how to think like a millionaire and you'll start to do millionaire things. Now, speaking of learning to think like a millionaire, this is one of the most impactful books I've ever read. The Master Key to Riches by Napoleon Hill. This is an amazing book and chapter three will change your life. Chapter three, definiteness of purpose will absolutely change your life, okay? Now, all of us are parts of team and John C. Maxwell has just been an absolutely amazing coach on leadership and success. And this is a book by John C. Maxwell, the the uh, 17 essential qualities of a team player. So if you're gonna be a team player, you wanna read this book. We're all parts of a team, so you need to master these qualities. And how about being a leader? Learn to be a leader. Maxwell teaches us that too, John C. Maxwell. The 21 irrefutable qualities of leadership. These are books that will totally change your life and change your value. Well, here's a book that will help you see it big. You gotta work on your vision. And this is The Dream Giver by Bruce Wilkinson. And wow, this is an impactful book. This is one of those books that will change and enrich your soul. So that's a good one there. Now I've got a CEO success camp group, a group that I'm coaching. Together we're reading and studying W. Clement Stone's The Success System that never fails. Wow, what an amazing book. We're talking about this going chapter by chapter, working our way through this one. Now, here are two, here's, here's, these two books kind of go together. This is one of the most important books you'll ever read. Can you get that there? The Holy Bible, right? And you know what? I don't, you know, I'm not here to preach religion to you and tell you what to believe, but some of the greatest success principles in this world can be found right here in this book, which I like to call the, uh, the guidebook or the instruction book to how we work. Now, one of the most powerful books in the Bible is the book of Proverbs, King Solomon, one of the wisest men to ever live. As a matter of fact, someone wrote a book about him. It's called The Richest Man Who Ever Lived. And these are all the, the success principles that you can learn from the book of Proverbs and King Solomon by Stephen Scott. So this is an amazing book here. You know, I was in the bookstore the other day. I like to go hang out at a bookstore called Half Price Books. We have it here in Houston. And I got this book the other day, How to Make Luck. Because people always want to say, oh, he's just lucky or she's just lucky. Well, you know what? Successful people make their own luck and here's how you make it. Um, now, uh, this is a book, another one for your soul. Here you go. Understanding the purpose and power of men. You know, it's a guidebook. It says, a book for men and the women who love them. And you know what, ladies? There's another book that says, uh, Understanding the Purpose and Power of Women by Dr. Miles Monroe. Become a better man, a better woman, a better husband, wife, and father, mother. Um, Maxwell, put your dream to the test because you got to have a dream. Execution, learn how to get it done. And you know what? I like to listen to my books. So how about this one? How to get your point across in 30 seconds or less. Stephen Covey on focus. And 
course, the seven habits of uh, highly successful people. And if you could take a look at what's on my phone, the iPod that's in here, you find many, many more books that will drive you to the top. So what am I trying to say? You are what you eat. What goes in comes out. Whether you put garbage in, garbage is going to come out, but you put good stuff in, good stuff comes out too, and you'll build a massive business and touch the world. God bless you. See you at the top.